What's up guys, what you're looking at right there is where my front track bar mounts to the axle and you can see the hole's been wallowed out and uh, basically this got brought to my attention when I took it into Les Schwab for an alignment. They did a quick check on everything. He had a guy in there steering left to right because he felt slop in the steering and sure enough this track bar was just sliding back and forth even though it was tightened down to that bracket. You can see over here, at some point the previous owner had drilled a second hole um, and that hole's wallowed out too. So this one's wallowed out and it had this just little sissy bolt in there. Where did I put that bolt? This is a little tiny um, 9 16 bolt that was in there. And obviously that's, that's just not gonna do. You can see everywhere else I've got big 5 8 inch uh, grade 8 hardware everywhere so definitely not gonna be keeping a little tiny 9 16 you know piece of crap bolt in there so what I'm gonna do to straighten this out hopefully is I'm gonna get this lined up perfectly centered in that hole and then I'm gonna drill it out to the next largest size and uh, then I'm gonna go get a grade 8 bolt and uh, a nice you know matching nut for the back side a locking nut and then also I'm gonna get a big grade 8 washer as thick as I can find for the front and what I'll do is I'll get this all bolted back in tightened down so it's nice and snug and uh, at that point I can go ahead and go back and do the alignment but uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is I'll have that grade 8 washer on the front here I'm gonna have my buddy tack weld that in place and that should keep the hole from wallowing out uh, in the future so I don't end up with the same problem having to drill out even bigger because eventually you run out of sizes once the sleeve and the bushing gets too thin you can't drill it anymore so hopefully we'll get this right the first time and then that'll take the slop out of my steering um, I also encountered death wobble because of this it's only happened to me like twice but I believe this is the reason because everything else is brand new now everything else is snugged up and uh, working really nice so Hopefully this will do it. I'll head down to Lowe's or Home Depot, get the hardware I need, get the drill bit I need, and go from there. So if you guys are having any kind of vibrations, knocking noises, steering slop, check this out. I've done everything else. Um, we've done ball joints. We've done new track bar, uh, excuse me, new uh, drag bar, new tie rod, new everything steering related except for this. So this is the, the last weak link that we got to tie up. So, get this squared away and let you guys know how it feels afterwards. So I went all half inch. I got a hex bolt, um, three inch, and then I got hex nuts, uh, two of just the regular ones, and then I got one of the nylon locking nuts. And uh, I got some grade eight washers for half inch, and I also got some drill bits. So, here's all the nuts. The one on the bottom is the locking nut, and uh, there's the grade eight washers. And there's my half inch bolt uh, by about three inches. So hopefully this will do the trick. I'm gonna have my girl come by and uh, sit in the Jeep and do the steering for me. Oh, and here's the drill bits I got. I just needed a half inch drill bit because all mine had broke. So I finally spent a little money and got the good DeWalt titanium. All right guys, so here's the finished result. Got the half inch drill bit in there and drilled straight through. So what you're gonna wanna do is I have my girl sit in there and had her turn the wheel until I could tell that the uh, the sleeve inside the track arm bushing was dead center with the existing hole and once it was you know I just had her in there with the Jeep running and told her to hold it right there where it was centered if it needs to go up or down just tap it with a hammer the main thing you need the person inside to do is the left to right and uh, once it was centered I just had her hold it in place fired up my drill with the half inch drill bit drilled all the way through uh, the mount front and back and all the way through the sleeve of course you can see all my uh, metal shavings down here quite a lot of material was removed going through the sleeve and then uh, once I was punched all the way through I just had her hold it where it was I slid the half inch bolt in there making sure that I had a grade 8 washer on the front and I also put one on the back now one of the problems that I did run into let's see if I can crawl under here and show you 
So, all right, so there's a track bar, so you can see the front's no problem, but the back, you don't have much room. You gotta go through this tiny little window on the back side of the mount there. The problem is with a uh, three quarter inch wrench, you gotta use an open end. You can't use a close end, because if you do, then you won't be able to get it out of there. So what I end up having to do is uh, take a screwdriver coming in from the side, just along the bottom of the nut there and if you get just the right thickness on the screwdriver it'll hold the flat side stationary at the bottom and then you can turn on the front with the uh, ratchet and so that worked okay it got on there pretty tight if you don't trust that you could put a, a second nut on there do a double nut to keep it from backing off but the thing is you know behind this bolt you don't have much room in front of the axle so what I'm gonna do is my buddy Joel's a mechanic. He does most of the work on this Jeep. It's rare anymore that I'm underneath it. <laughs> he's always doing stuff because he just does it right and he's got the right tools for the job. So what I'll do is I'll just let him know about this. I'm sure he'll have some special, you know, swivel head, three-quarter wrench or something that can get up in there. That way we can get more torque on it if it even needs it. I got it pretty tight. So then I have my girl hop in there again once I got this all cinched up. Oh, and I did run a washer on the back, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, so that should help prevent wallowing out in the future and all wallowing out is is boring out you can see like this hole here uh, right here if you have a hole drilled and then you have a bolt in it that's too small it's gonna move around and that movement is going to uh, bore it out or wallow it out over time and then even when the bolt is tight um, it'll still move around because there's a lot of pressure on this track bar. I mean, the track bar is what holds your axle centered under the vehicle. So if you have this disconnected and you turn it left to right, you'll see this thing uh, moving back and forth, the whole axle in relationship to the Jeep. So it looks like I'm good to go. I have my girl turn it back and forth. I have zero movement now. So that tells me that the, the hole drilled all the way through is the perfect size matched up to the bolt. So I'm good to go. There's no play. And I'll be able to take this down to Les Schwab and they'll do the front end alignment for me and then after I do that the only thing I might do is have one of my buddies tack weld this washer actually onto that bracket and that'll even help secure um, you know help prevent the wallowing even more because that washer will actually become a part of the bracket so it's kind of an optional thing we'll see I think I got the hole just the right size so it's probably not going to screw up again but we'll see so again if you guys have this problem uh, just make sure you drill out to the next size bigger. What I recommend is going to a half inch and uh, that should solve your problems.